Between each of the movable vertebrae is located the intervertebral disc. Intervertebral discs consist of a thick outer layer with a crisscrossing fibrous structure, annulus, that surrounds the soft, gel-like center, the nucleus. The spinal cord is the major column of nerve tissue that is connected to the brain and serves as an information superhighway between the brain and the body. The nerves in your spinal cord branch off to form pairs of nerve roots that travel through the small openings between your vertebrae, intervertebral foramens. Neck pain is one of the most common spine problems. As we age, our spines change. Degenerative effects of aging can lead to intervertebral disc bulging and herniation. Nerve roots, and sometimes the spinal cord itself, can be squeezed, which can irritate the nervous system. This condition is called spinal stenosis. Cervical spinal stenosis symptoms include neck pain, often with radiating arm pain, numbness or weakness and tingling. First, a thin needle is placed under x-ray control down to the involved disc level. Then a guide wire is placed through the needle. A dilator is inserted over the guide wire. Next, a working tube is inserted to the targeted disc herniation. Finally, the spinal endoscope is placed through the working tube. Then the disc herniation is microsurgically removed under direct visualization. This is called a discectomy. The procedure frees space for the nerve root and relieves compression, thereby eliminating the stenosis symptoms. The incision is closed with a stitch or two and the procedure is complete.